Hello and welcome back to Tea Time with Yolo Russell, Simpson's ex-wife Kimora and a daughter Ayoki are currently exposing him with allegations of harassment and threats they claim uh, they can prove you guys. This all happened on the 19th of June 2023 where Kimora decided to actually go on Instagram live to accuse her ex-husband Russell of verbally attacking their children. Now this drama all started Started when the ex's eldest 23 year old Ming uh, took to her Instagram story on Sunday to wish her mother a happy Father's Day. And this unfortunately seemed to set Russell off. He also decided to take to his own Instagram story and basically posted an image with the son that read Stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see their children and start asking mothers why he had to fight at all. So up next, I'll just go ahead and insert um, Ayoki's Instagram live and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. I did also want to come on here and say that a lot, I, I can't, between a lot of people who are close to him and who have experienced how he is, I mean, just lashed out at anyone he can and completely changed the person that he is. A lot of us feel like maybe something is wrong, like mentally, I don't know. It, he's older, I, bipolar, I don't know. But he has completely changed. I will come on here and talk about whatever I want because it's my life and I'm the one suffering. So, he has completely changed. The couple texts I just had... Those are only the beginning. I'm going to go through them if he's going to... I don't want to post a ton. But if he tries to say that, like, it's not happening, I will... I have screen recordings. I have voice memos of things that you... It doesn't sound like a human being. He's, like, shrieking and yelling. And, I mean, he sounds, like, possessed. So, I will say... I'm not even sure if it's, like, to his credit. But the best explanation I have is something mental going on because i used to be very close to my dad he used to be a good co-parent close with my mom my stepdad he was his godfather to my little brothers we all went on vacation together every year like very close well well after the divorce they, everyone was really happy when he had business ventures my mom would invest in them like good friends he'd come stay with us like we'd come stay there we don't like all the time everyone together and then really he suddenly just decided that like if we don't agree, it's oh you're all bitches like your mother, I hate you, all these fucking bitches are the same. Oh my I mean he's just a different person. Like I he has like looked me in the eye and I've been like, I need help. I, w I was in Greece doing the camp and I was like, You cut off my debit card. I only got like a hundred couple hundred dollars a month as a minor and I was like, I'm in a foreign country and my debit card won't work, I can't even add money to it. Can you help me? And he was just like no, I, I sure hope that you don't die on the streets of, of Thessaloniki. And I was like, no, no, like I'm really stranded out here. Um, I need help. And he's like, well, I sh maybe you should ask your mother not to sue me. And I'm like, you're suing her. And he's like, well, maybe when you bitches decide you're going to like be reasonable, I'll help you. And I'm like, this is unsafe. It's nighttime. I like what you cut me off out of nowhere and he did it like on purpose he was like oh enjoy camp i put some, like you're good to go i put money on your car and then he cut it off when i landed so i'd be stranded my mom helped me it was fun worst things have happened i'm just saying he'll like look me in the eye and be like well maybe when you bitches decide to like threatening me so i felt that was important to include because if we do continue to get into it and some of the things that i post are going to look crazy and I agree, they're crazy. And it would honestly make me feel better if something was severely wrong. Because this is just not the father that I know. Or the father that I've had. You know, like, to this day, I don't even, I would never let a man talk any kind of way to me. Because my dad was always good to me. And then he just completely changed. So... I just want to include that, that it could be that, and you don't, I don't know his mental situation, but like he used to do kind of crazy stuff and then say he had COVID, so we'd all call him, or if we'd say, hey, I need some space because all you do is tell me how awful I am and how I have my mom's awful, shitty, bitch ass cunt genetics. 
So, hey, look, I'm in school. And can you not harass me when I'm in school? He wasn't paying for school, by the way. Can you not harass This live was also accompanied by a very long caption, which reads, My father is not well for years. He needs help and won't accept that. He refuses to acknowledge he is not himself. He has a threatened and bullied my sister, my grandma. He has harassed my grandma in the middle of the night in poor health, sent a man to my sister's apartment at 2 a.m. to scare her. He lashes out at anyone who does not say, oh, Russell, everything is fine. Well, it's not fine. If I never get a fashion job again, like he threatens, I'll be a lawyer, I guess, and work in criminal justice. Sure, I love my job. But if he takes it away from me, I will not die. You don't threaten my sister and grandma and mother and say, who's going to believe you? I'm Russell Simpsons. Nobody thinks I'm crazy. Well, he is. So guys, what are your thoughts on this entire drama? Please just drop a comment down on the comment section. Like this video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so. And I will surely see you guys on my next one. Bye.